For as long as I can remember, they've been telling us to enjoy it while they're young, but our days are filled with chaos and stress and cooking and endless laundry piles. Where's the time to enjoy it? Yeah, that's what I always thought too. There's so much I have to do. When do I find time for peace and joy and happiness when I barely have time to sleep? Mama, it's time to make shift happen. You can be a happy mom. If I can, you can. Trust me. I've been a mess. I've been depressed. I've been overwhelmed. I've been to the bottom of the pits. And I've risen. I've grown. I've bloomed. And it all started when I realized I didn't have to anything. I get to. It is my privilege and my honor and my divine responsibility to be the queen of my home. It's not a burden. I'm not a burden. I'm in charge. I'm the ruler. I'm the chaos coordinator. I'm the calm in the storm. And so are you. Come with me. Let's rise, mamas. Adjust your crown. Accept your responsibility. Change the effing world together. It's all in the way we choose to see it. I'm so glad you're here, friend. You're listening to Meant to Bloom with Brittany Clarkson. Hey, friends. Today we are chatting about meal planning. This should be a short, quick kind of episode. Everything you need to know about meal planning already exists on the internet. Okay? I already have several different blog posts, and I will link those in the descriptions below this episode so you can go give those a read. There are templates inside of those. I also have the meal planning guide on my Etsy shop, which includes various templates for grocery shopping, meal planning, family menu. Um, It's got simple ways to meal plan plus bonus um, recipes for super simple meals, like ridiculously simple. Um, And I will link all those below for you so that you have extra resources and everything you need to get meal planning done and feeling good and awesome for you. But I want to chat a little bit on why I meal plan and how I meal plan right now. Um, because again, out in the out in the internet, even on my side of the internet, just my website, my own blogs, I have a various number of ways to meal plan. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it right now. So the reason I meal plan is because I get incredibly neurotic and stressed and spiral out of control if I have to meal plan the day of. Like if I went grocery shopping and just bought random veggies and meats and sides and pieces of recipes and then I have to figure out how to put it together, I will lose it. Um, Like I have struggled with decision anxiety for much of my life. And the solution I found that is best is to not make decisions when I'm stressed, to give up control over making the decision, therefore letting my husband make the decision in most cases. I just let go and say, you know what? I'm going to stress about the decision and I'm not going to feel good about what decision I make. So it's up to you. Do whatever. I have released my caring to the decision that I know I'm going to stress about. Um, but yes, the best way to avoid decision anxiety is to avoid making decisions in the moment, in the stress. And the second thing to do for decision anxiety, since we're here chatting about that for a second, is to journal on it, reflect on it, um, write out a strengths list and write out a list of all the good decisions you have made and reflect on that often. Write that same thing again and again, like, continue writing out good decisions you've made and support yourself in building your confidence and making decisions. Um, Also, looking at the decisions and making the decision itself microscopic, realizing how small of a decision this is that you're making that you're stressing about and make the stress smaller and the decision smaller, um, like in your brain space. So back to meal planning. (laughs) So decision anxiety is a big reason I meal plan. Um, What will happen if I go to make, to make dinner and I have to like put together all the pieces is that my brain doesn't just say, okay, what are we going to do for dinner tonight? That's good enough. Um, I would put a ton of pressure on myself to make a good meal. Like my marriage depended on it. 
uh, which it doesn't. Um, I've had multiple conversations with my husband about this. He thinks I'm a little bit nuts for ever thinking that he would leave me over not making a good enough dinner. Um, since when he met me, I had never even heard of hamburger helper. Like I couldn't cook. <laughs> um, I followed freezer, like microwave freezer meal directions was the extent of my knowledge when we met. So the thought that he expects anything from me in the kitchen is ridiculous. And, um, I don't know. I let myself, uh, make a bigger deal of my inability to cook than I needed to. So, I mean, I've come a long way. Pay attention to how far you've come to. Like, sometimes growth happens small and you don't even realize it. And you think you should be farther than you are, but really you're so much farther than where you started. So pay attention to your growth. Celebrate the little wins. Um, that's for all areas of your life. Um, but what would happen when I go to pick the meal, if I had just gone to the grocery store and I bought different meats, different veggies, different sides, I would then in that moment try to think what's the best way of putting these together that's going to taste the best and make the most sense and also not let different different like vegetables or meats go bad. Um, so how, what am I going to do tomorrow then? And what am I going to do the next day? And how am I going to put all these pieces together the best? And it was like putting together this giant puzzle, um, with pieces that went to different puzzles instead of taking the time to plan ahead of time and make sure that the pieces of the puzzles I bought fit the puzzle I'm trying to make. Um, if that makes sense to you. So then I started meal planning cause I was throwing away a lot of food and I was stressing every single time about putting things together the best way um, instead of just like what makes sense tonight, what makes sense tomorrow, handling it tomorrow. Um, I could not take it day by day, even though at that time I literally lived two miles from the grocery store. I couldn't take it day by day. <laughs> and like I had no kids. So like going to the grocery store was not a big deal, but somehow I even worked at a grocery store. And somehow it was a big deal for me to have to go and get extra ingredients the next day, take it day by day. I don't know. Oh, I was a wreck, guys. I w if you don't believe it, oh my goodness, I was a wreck before I started implementing anything I have ever taught you in this podcast. Um, it's hard to believe I'm the same person. My goodness. Take note of where you are right now and where you were five years ago, please. Like, really think about that because I'm sure you have grown beyond what you thought you could. Um, I was a silly, silly girl. Oh, okay. Back on track with meal planning. Um, <laughs> so that's basically the reasoning behind my meal planning is so that I don't end up throwing groceries away and I don't end up stressing in the moment, trying to piece together everything that I have on hand instead of planning to have on hand what I need. So I started meal planning. Things got much more simpler. They way got simpler. Uh, tongue's doing the weird thing where it fumbles words. Okay. If you don't know, I don't know if you've ever noticed, maybe I shouldn't point this out to you because now you'll notice it forever. I fumble words a lot. Um, I get tongue tied because I literally have a tongue tie just so you know, side note. Um, yeah. If you ever catch me fumbling my words a lot, like I'm not drunk. I just can't move my tongue that much. <laughs> uh, it works though. It works. Meal planning. How, how I'm meal planning right now. I switch back and forth every couple of weeks. Um, so I have like a family menu that I tend to go to, to pull my meals from when I have to meal plan. This helps me to see and not stress out and suddenly forget everything I've ever cooked um, and everything my family's ever liked. So I will usually look at the meal plan or the, the family menu in order to make my meal plan. And I will pick looking at the week ahead, um, what kind of meals I'll be able to make because I know some days if I have a lot of errands to run, I'm not going to have the energy to cook. 
Um, so I have to have something that's super simple to just throw together. Or if it's really, really hot, I'm not going to want to cook anything inside the house. So it's going to be either something I can do outside on the Traeger or something that involves no cook, like using pre-cooked chicken to put onto a Caesar or Cobb salad or something. Um, Caesar Cobb is not a salad, but we do that. Um, basically that's just what I call it when I use a Caesar salad kit, but then I put chicken and, um, hard boiled eggs on it. <laughs> um, I'm not the person to ask for cooking advice because I don't really know. I don't really know things like that. If that's really considered a Cobb salad, I don't know what that is. I just know Cobb salads have boiled eggs on them. <laughs> don't judge me for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll do is if it's going to be really, really hot and I know I'm not going to want to cook, I'll get like a couple salad kits, uh, and then we'll just put like the frozen chicken strips, like pre-cooked, just put some of those on top or get them out of the deli, even not frozen. Cause then you don't have to thaw them. Just get from the deli, like the shredded refrigerated rotisserie chicken. Um, and you can just toss that on or some other kind of protein or whatever. Um, and that's super simple and easy because when it's really, really hot, we don't want to eat very much. Like we don't really want something super heavy all the time. Um, but that's kind of how my meal plan is. I look at my family menu of meals that my family likes and I know that I don't mind cooking them. Um, and there's like 20 to 30 meals on that. And so I can just pick and choose off of that easy. If I'm feeling something else that I saw on Pinterest or Facebook, I'll add that in maybe. Usually I don't like to try new recipes. Um, usually I leave that up to my husband for his night to cook. He likes to try new stuff. Um, so I will let him do that. And then other weeks, I simplify things even farther by just ordering from every plate. And they give you like 20 to 30 things to choose from and you pick like four or five. And then they send you a box that has everything in it and the recipe cards. And it's so simple for me because then all I have to do from the grocery store is make sure like, do we have milk? Do we have eggs? Do we have snacks? Done. Easy. Um, so that's really how I have it simplified right now and how I keep it super easy and simple is by having that family menu already created that is tried and true favorite recipes, things I know I don't mind cooking. Um, I already know these recipes very well. I'm not dealing with a ton of new ideas um, or new ingredients. Like I already know everything that goes on these. I don't have to look at a recipe to cook these. I could go to the store and get the five ingredients it takes to cook these. Um, without having to think about it, you know, like if I'm going to make lasagna, I know what goes in the lasagna that I cook because I cook the same lasagna every time. It's just lasagna noodles, ragu, um, maybe some onions in the ground beef and cream cheese and mozzarella, um, and sour cream mixed with the cream cheese. Like that's it. So I know just off the top of my head how to cook this. And I know what ingredients I would have to go to the store to get. And that is really just how, that's just the simplest way to make your, your meal planning. And I don't even meal plan, like, I don't plan out ahead of time what I'm going to do for breakfasts or lunches. I will typically just make sure for lunch that I have on hand, um, some fruits, like I'll usually even just get like a fruit tray and a veggie tray and we'll just like snack on those. And then we'll do like a sandwich with it or like mac and cheese or whatever we're feeling that day. Um, my kids are super like picky about what they eat kind of right now. So they don't like to adventure outside of either having mac and cheese or sandwiches most of the time. So that kind of simplifies lunchtime because I know they're only going to want these couple of things. Um, and then I just offer them a snack tray that's got like fruits and crackers and some cheeses and maybe meat sticks and some veggies on it and just let them kind of graze on that and eat whatever they're willing to eat. Um, and then breakfast is always just like a breakfast bar or cereal or oatmeal, um, unless it's the weekend and then their dad cooks and he will do whatever he feels like, like pancakes or breakfast sandwiches or waffles or, um, you know, whatever. 
So that takes that off my plate. Weekends, I don't cook breakfast. I never cook breakfast. <laughs> it's just, you know, stuff. Okay. So that is the way I'm meal planning right now. That is the simplest meal planning strategy I really have for you. If you feel like you want to meal plan one big deluxe meal plan and then never have to do it again, I will, I am linking below the six week rotating meal plan. It's where you create six weeks of meals. Um, and then you just repeat it again and again for the rest of your life until you're sick of it and want to redo it. Um, I will link that blog post below. And then also there is the easy way to meal plan. If you feel like you need to have some kind of structure to choosing the meals, um, you know, something like themed nights or wrote like switching out proteins so that you're not repeating the same thing over and over again. If you're that type of person, I used to be very, very, very much like that. That's why I created the easy way to meal plan guide. Um, and that will show you how to do, um, how to set up like a theme tonight meal plan or how to set up like a protein based meal plan. Um, and it's got a great example in there that satisfies both of those. Um, and there's also the third alternative of taking every recipe you know and like, like basically take everything I suggest putting on your family menu, put that all on tiny pieces of paper and put them in a jar and just to do meal plan roulette and uh, pull out of the jar to pick out your whole meal plan. Um, those are my top methods for meal planning and they're all linked below so you can check those out. Um, also let someone else do the work and get every plate or HelloFresh or Home Chef or anything like that. I highly recommend um, taking some of that work off your plate entirely. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, feel free to comment, share, uh, mention me when you share on social media, please, so that I can see. Um, I love to connect with you. I love to see what you're sharing, what you're learning, what was your takeaway from every episode. I love seeing that. Um, so please mention me at Britt Clarkson when you share on Instagram, please. Um, or tag me on Facebook when you share. It's at Brittany Clarkson blog. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for trusting me and helping guide you through your kitchen, dinner, mealtime dilemmas, um, and all throughout your motherhood. So thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. Leave a, leave a rating and a review for me so I can see what you're thinking. All right. Love you, friend. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Meant to Bloom. It really does mean the world to me. But are you ready to take this a step farther? Check out the description below of this episode and grab your mindset makeover. It's totally free, my gift to you. Then hop on Instagram and let me know what you thought of this episode. Tag me at Britt Clarkson. That's B-R-I-T-C-L-A-R-K-S-O-N. If any part of this resonated with you, please let me know by tagging me or leave a review and share on social media so other mamas can find this too. If it helped you, it's going to help someone else. You're part of a movement now. Let's go. Mm -hmm.